Good afternoon. An Oro Valley man is facing serious criminal charges after he allegedly tried to convince a 13 year old Florida girl to travel across the country to become his sex slave. 30 year old Kevin Doc was arrested last week. Today he was in court for an extradition hearing. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo was in the courtroom. She is live downtown with this crime trackers report. Lupita. Well, it looks like he won't be leaving Tucson anytime soon. Meanwhile, some of the neighbors uh, tell us that they're in complete shock over the crimes he's being accused of. They talk to us, but ask that we not use their names. I think this is absolutely uncalled for. You know, we need to do something about this for our society. We need to protect our children. We need to stop the computer soliciting. This person should definitely be arrested and go to jail for what he's done. Kevin Dock is in the Pima County Jail, and in Florida, he's facing 13 child sex charges, including using a computer to seduce, solicit, and lure a child for sex. Tucson police, who also helped Florida authorities, say he may be facing additional charges in Arizona. This is very scary, especially when you have young grandchildren in the neighborhood. You have lots of little children in this neighborhood that run free and think that it's safe. And it isn't. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd in a news conference talked about this case. Kevin Dock lives in Tucson, Arizona with his, or a suburb of Tucson, with his mother, his father, and his wife. That's right, they're all in the same house. We went to their house and no one answered. We left our business card. Another neighbor told us he found it hard to believe that Kevin Dock would be involved in this situation, given that he's in a wheelchair. Sheriff Grady has a message for all parents of young children. Once again, all I can do is warn the parents. You've got to know what your children are doing online. Because there are sick individuals, just like the night kitty, who thinks he's a night wolf, who's a sexual predator. The judge rescheduled a review hearing for next Tuesday at 2.30. Reporting live from downtown, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.